though. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that, oh, it's on my camera, okay. I thought I had cement on my face, but it was actually on my camera, so anyway. So, back to this, uh, what do I do with my leftover cement? Um, I'm gonna show you a quick project that I do. I, whether my daughters and daughter-in-laws enjoyed these or not, I don't really know, but I wear mine all the time and I get compliments on it because it's unusual. But what I like to do with some of this, I had a little of that cement left over from making the, the Prince Frog Crown. And so I put it on this sheet of plastic here I'm just going to cut a piece off. And I'm going to show you. This is so fun. I don't know. You might think I'm a little crazy, but if you haven't figured that out by now, <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to put a sheet over this cement. I'm going to flatten it out like so. Not too thin. And I'm using my hands. I want it to kind of be organic. And then I've got a tiny little heart cookie cutter. Yeah. So really, um, in a former life, I was a baker, a cake decorator, and so I've got lots of that kind of stuff sitting around. And so sometimes I pilfer from that stash to now come into the new, the new mode of art. So anyway, here we are. We're going to take this little tiny cookie cutter, and I think we might be able to get a couple out of here. Press down and make a heart indentation. You see that? There we go. And then I think I can get one more out of there. I'm gonna, and I wanna leave that on, and on the cement until that dries because that will make the surface very smooth. And so I'm gonna try to do one more without disturbing that one. So let's see if we can. But this is just another one of these little things that you can do with some leftover cement like I've got that's kind of fun. Oh good, I got one more here. Breaking it down in there. There we go. Let's see if we can get this one. There we go. And then I'm going to take my stash in my drawer here. A toothpick. And I'm going to Put a hole right through. I'm going to work it so it's open. I'm going to do the same over here. Right all the way through. Then I'm going to break the tip of my toothpick off because I want it to be a bigger hole now. And I'm just going to put that toothpick right through there and let it sit right there. I know. Vina, what are you doing? That, that looks crazy. What are you doing? I'm going to show you what I'm doing. If you haven't figured it out, you're going to be amazed. Put it right through. Let it sit there. Now, here's the deal. It may or it may not work, but you were going to throw it away anyway, right? So, why not give it a shot? Because this is what we're going to be making here. There you go. A little cement jewelry. There you go. And I don't know, I like my bling, so I put a little, some crystals on there. I use copper wire, leather lace to make these little cement heart necklaces. <laughs> I don't know. I like wearing them. And so if these work and they don't get broken and they look the way I want them to, this is two more of those little necklaces that I can either wear myself or give away or I don't know. What do you think? I'm starting with a copper head pin that I will thread my crystal beads onto. You can get these head pins at any jewelry supply place, you know, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any place like that that you would find jewelry making supplies. So I'm just beginning to uh, create the eye on the top of that bead.
there it is. Now I'm creating the jump ring that will go through that hole in the cement heart that I created. So I just used a magic marker um, to make my jump ring large enough. And now I'm clipping that off. There we go. So some 18 gauge copper wire is what I've got here. Just thread that through the hole of the cement heart. And that jump ring is what I'm going to dangle the crystal charms off of. Just a little more finessing here to get it the right shape. Make sure that the ends are closed up well on the jump ring. All right, there we have it. Now we're going to attach the beads to that jump ring. Remember, I like my bling. <laughs> there it is. Now what I've got is some small round leather lace. Now myself, I like to use the genuine leather, but you can use any kind of cord that you like. I couldn't find my hemp cord, so we're going with leather lace today. And all I'm going to do is just cut that off to the length I want, tie a knot, and there it is. So here you go, just something we can do with those little bits of leftover cement. Thank you for your question and thank you for viewing. Keep your questions coming. Give me some of your ideas like this cement right here, this cement mix. That was um, a little recipe from one of my followers. And so note that I'm going to use some of your things and demonstrate what I'm doing with it. And continue to enjoy my videos. I hope they're useful to you. And get out there and create because you've got it in you. It's in there somewhere. We all have it. Thanks so much.